welcome to the May Stargazing Guide. This May we can still see the great bear Ursa Major. The plough is part of it and in some Native American legends the lower end of the plough was thought to be a big bear and the stars in its handle were warriors chasing it. Since the constellation is in the sky in autumn the legend says that it was the blood of the wounded bear that caused the autumn leaves to turn red. Nearby is Boetes the Herdsman, which has lots of bright stars. Find it by spotting its brightest, Arcturus, by following the curve of the plough's handle. Boetes can be seen driving his oxen in a great circle around Polaris, the North Star, herding the great and little bears across the sky with the help of his two trusted hunting dogs. Virgo, the second largest constellation, is also in this part of the sky but can be tricky to spot because it mostly isn't very bright. Luckily, it's one eye-catching star, Spica. It's one of the most visible in the whole night sky. To find it, follow the curve you used to find Arcturus and continue it with Arcturus as the midpoint. Your line will end at Spica, which is part of Virgo's hand. This constellation is in a region of the sky where the sun rises in autumn when crops are harvested, so Virgo is usually shown as a young woman holding a sheaf of wheat. Our last constellation, Corvus the Crow, can be seen from nearly everywhere on Earth from late March to June. It's another dim group of stars, but it's in a dark part of the sky which makes it easy to spot. It contains a quadrilateral shaped asterism known as Spica Spanker or the Sail, which can be picked out without needing a telescope or binoculars. May's full moon is on the 5th. This full moon is often called the flower moon, thanks to the explosion of blooming spring flowers this month. Other names include the hair moon, the corn planting moon and the milk moon. I hope you get clear skies and the chance to see some of these cool constellations. Happy stargazing and see you again in June.